Hey guys, it's Skip with Earn My Badge, and today I just want to take a minute and talk to you about an article that I read. And it's actually pretty ironic because I had this conversation, um, you know, a couple, a couple days ago, maybe a week at the most, with some of my coworkers. And the conversation was really, do we have people who are interested in becoming police officers, coming into law enforcement? And then the article I just read the other day from one of the uh, major news sites was talking about a crisis in law enforcement and the staffing shortages. So. <clears throat> Going back to the conversation we had, my, co my co-workers were talking about that really we don't have good quality applicants who are interested in what we do. And I disagree with that to a certain extent. You know, I think the economy definitely has a big play into uh, the options quality applicants have. You know, are they gonna go to a federal job? Are they gonna go to a private industry? You know, uh, what are they gonna do to um, help their family needs, right? The, those personal choices. So there's always gonna be that. But at the same time, I really do believe that there are good people who want to come into this career. And it's just a matter of helping them out. You know, one of the challenges that we face is all the negativity surrounding law enforcement. It's 24 seven, it's hard to put that stuff aside. It's on TV, Facebook, friends, you name it, it's out there. But at the end of the day, police are needed, right? Um, you will always have people who should not be wearing that badge. And I'll tell you, in law enforcement, we go through uh, hurdles to try to weed those type of people out, okay? But at the end of the day, there are gonna be people who get in, who shouldn't. Same thing happens though with people who become lawyers, doctors, school teachers, uh, clergy, politicians. Any industry you have out there, you're gonna have people who shouldn't be in that position. I can't speak for them, but I can speak for law enforcement. I can speak for myself saying, if there's anyone who tarnishes that badge, they don't deserve it, right? I worked hard for my badge. I've been a police officer for 15 years. I've seen my, fo my fellow coworkers get hurt. I've been a supervisor, seen my officers get hurt, trying to do the right thing because of the, the position they're in. And for someone to act outside of that, that's not okay. We have a memorial of officers who died wearing that badge, doing the right thing. So anyone who tarnishes that badge does not deserve it. Right. And again, we're never gonna be liked by everyone, but we are needed. Right. There's always gonna be a percentage of the population doesn't believe what we do. Um, they're always gonna think the worst. And what you have to realize is that you can never satisfy everyone. It just makes us have to work harder in our interactions with people, helping them understand why we do certain things and giving them some context. And that's our challenge that we face as law enforcement in interacting with the public. So try to put some of that noise aside and you know really look at yourself. Um, I'm guessing because you have this, you're watching this video, you have that urge. You want to come into law enforcement and maybe you're just, you know, you have some, some doubts uh, that you may not be able to do what we do. But guess what? Men and women from all walks of life come in and do this job. And I'll tell you, not everyone can do this job, okay? So there's a difference. Uh, I would love to be a rocket scientist. I'd love to be a heart surgeon, but those are not things that I'm good at. So that's why you don't see me behind an operating table, right? Um, so anyone who tells you that you can do this job and you'll be successful is lying to you. Not everyone can do this job. But one thing you do deserve to do for yourself is give yourself a shot, right? You may not be the best at certain things, but all that means is that you're just gonna have to work harder to overcome that, right? And if you're watching this video, I think that you're looking for those things to help you on that right path. And I think that's one thing that us in law enforcement can do, and is really one of the primary missions of Earn My Badge, is to help paint that roadmap for you, all right? If you're trying to go into law, or I'm sorry, if you're trying to go become a doctor, a lawyer, uh, go into any of the surf academies, West Point, Naval Academy, if you're trying to go into NASA, there are certain courses that you need to take, certain proficiencies that you need to uh, display. And the same thing with law enforcement. So one of the things you'll find here at Earn My Badge are those type of topics that are gonna help you set yourself apart. So a lot of it is gonna come down on you, all right? I can show you, but you're gonna have to do the work. And with that, one of the questions I always ask people uh, when I was a recruiter and when I 
had these interactions or our career fairs and um, presentations at the colleges is why do you want to do this job? You're going to be cold. You're going to be wet. You're going to be hungry. That is a guarantee that at some point in this job, you will accomplish all three probably at the same time, right? So what's your urge? What is your desire to put up with all those things and do this job? One of the, when I asked that question, I, I got the textbook answer is what I like to call it. And there's definite substance behind that answer. And what people told me is they wanted to help people. They wanted to make a difference. And that's important because that's what we do. But at the same time, what's gonna set you apart is help is you identifying what your urge is, what your desire is to come into this career. And so I wanna leave you with that. What is it that makes you feel like this is meant for you that you are willing to do whatever it takes to stand up on that stadium and get your badge pinned on your uniform what is it what is that desire what is that motivation so take some time put those ideas on paper put pen to paper and come up with your answer because that's one of the ways that you're going to be able to set yourself apart from the competition so with that good luck and if you have any questions as always hit me up on Facebook or info at earnmybadge.com. The contact details are uh, below in the, uh, the video details. So with that, good luck and stay persistent.